What can you do? Okay, I can accept that. Because honestly, it's time to sweep these guys under the rug and be done with it. Zhao Yun. Satsuki. Angel. Diwan. Do it. I really thought we'd have a bigger number advantage. Interesting. They only have four bases to work with. <laughs> Operation Too Many Arrows continues unabated. Another seventh dragon healer. All right. I welcome all of you lieutenants to come get me, because as long as I defeat them, we'll speed things along. Whoops. Got careless. Alright. Hey, you got a good one on me. You know what? Good on ya. Good on ya, Lee Su. you again. You just don't get enough getting your butt kicked, do you? Don't really know what him rendezvousing with anyone is going to matter, ultimately, unless that was a mission objective. But thankfully, I don't care. Where'd Lu Bu go? Whatever. Overlook the difference made by the one particular enemy. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not doing anything. Oh, hey, Lisu. Look at that. I just have a big handful of payback for you. I should probably go over there and help my friends real quick. After all, if they did something weird like throwing a whole bunch of guys in one particular direction, that could actually realistically be a threat. And I'm not a fan of that. Good on you, Soon John. Now there's Lupu. Ah, that's done, Satsuki. You didn't even need my help, did ya? You guys have pretty much cleaned up over here, haven't you? Yeah, I could've just left it you to it, and it would've been fine. I was worried over nothing. Well, I mean, we got through her attack. Maybe that's more important. Alright. Nothing else for it. 
Let's put a bow on this. I'm in route right now. Calm down. Yeah, taunt on paper sounds good, but it's actually not that strong. Oh, no, there she is. And that's that. Sure, why not? <laughs> nah, I'm executing you. Bye-bye. You can go. Eh, whatever. Thought it might be kind of cool to have someone else's custom character, but I'll let you go. Now, I kind of need to do something about that one spot. Yeah, that one. The one that they keep attacking. Uh, I wish I could just counterattack and just run them over. I don't want to have to fight to take it back again. Actually, that's not even a fault condition. I could just leave it. So I will. I will leave it. You know why? Because we're invading here. Because our biggest threat at this point is going to be South South's forces. We have a sizable army, one that can definitely win. But Cao Cao's army is about the only one with any ability to rival our own. So at this point, if I can't turn him into something convenient for our forces, I'll simply have to plow my way through him. Uh, Jun Yu, the guy who's been on the thumbnail of these videos. You might have been curious. I don't know how many history buffs we have. Rather than people who just enjoy me beating up thousands and thousands of random nameless faceless guys. Wow, Malona, you just jumped in there and just must break a dude's neck. I should do something about that. I'll let Malona take over from here. I'm just saying, this was avoidable, Sao Sao. You could have just taken my deal, and we wouldn't be doing this right now. I would have dealt with those smaller guys first and saved you for last, or second to last, on the grounds that, well, you're kind of in the way. I'm over here, can't you see me? Send help. Okay, that should put everyone back on track. Now that we've done that, it's time to do what we always do. And revel in the glory of ranged combat. You guys can give me that crap about you know, purity of the blade all you want, but there's a reason that guns won that war. Also, katanas are trash blades. I feel like I'm safe, you know, being this late in the video, being able to say that, but they are. Oh, we've got another funny guy back there. Okay. A 
number is a little hampered, I should probably deal with it myself. Hi. Oh, Dong Zhuo himself! I thought you were executed ages ago. But now I get the pleasure of doing it myself! That greatly simplifies things. Sounds like he's quacking. Am I the only one hearing that? Quack, 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 quack. Yeah, to say he wasn't liked by his contemporaries is underselling Dong Zhuo's position in history. It's generally agreed upon that he was pretty much little more than a villain. But you know how history tends to be written by those who win the wars. Especially as one of my astute commenters mentioned, that the game is based much more heavily on the novelization of the events rather than the history of the events. And everyone, especially the rulers, are very much romanticized and shown to be these very noble and just and honorable men. In actuality, they were all kind of awful in their own special ways. Like, the whole thing of Liu Bei being, oh, a world of benevolence. Uh, the, the dude literally, like, bashed his own son in the head, like, when he was an infant. <laughs> like, this guy was not, not super great, you know, not exactly dad of the year over here. No, in real history, if some this random foreigner with no armor on came in and started juggling thousands of dudes, like I think you know, history might have taken note of him. Casual observation. Excellent. Now we can go deal with that mass of units there. Ah, that is a sheer wall. I'm going around. It's fun. Predictably, another Chroma Squad hero. Okay, now, to deal with all of you guys... I'm just in rage mode, no sense messing around here. Was a lot of guys. Oh, geez, we're not even done. Okay, surely that's the last of them. Something, something, don't call me Shirley. Okay. Having come to this point, I really just want to kill Dong Chuo, is what I'm saying here. It's really why I'm focused on him so intently. Oh, this is awkward. Hi. Not sore about that last thing, right? Last time when I, I showed up and just, like, pummeled you into the ground mercilessly? Yeah, good times. Yeah, you can go. As can you. You're dead. 
Yeah, we spent it to end like this, my dreams. Nice. And now anyone who realistically posed a threat to me has now been eliminated. At this point, what we're doing is simple formalities. Dotting some I's, crossing some T's, and so on. Trying to get my guys out of abject misery. Uh, you guys just don't learn, do you? Don't think we're in a position to really make alliances anymore. Since these guys just won't learn their lesson, I just have to go in, guns blazing, really. Yeah, get in there, Emperor. Go, go show them what you're made of. I'm surprised these guys have the numbers to keep doing this. We've repelled them a couple times now. I just really wanted to get rid of Cao Cao and his guys. Let's get the ball rolling, shall we? I mean, when you're backed into a corner and there's literally nothing to lose, that is precisely what, you know, Sun Tzu was talking about. He talks about dead ground. Because your battlefield dictates a lot of what your tactics are. So if you literally have nowhere to go, you cannot run, you cannot even begin to run, all you can do is fight, then yes, the logical thing to do is just fight because you already have nothing left to lose. But that is kind of the point, right? Like, they're just being annoying by biting the cat at this point. Ah, man, they are all amassing over there. I was thinking that was too easy. You're a healer, Florin. Stick to what you do. I don't know if that was legit, the Emperor, or if that was a custom character someone made. Jeez. There's no good way to do this. So I won't use a good way. I'll use the brute force way. Alright, let's slow him down a little. Whoops. Caught in someone else's Muso, usually the best thing to do is Muso yourself. You have very little to lose at that point, and a lot of invincibility to gain. Oh, didn't know she had the, uh... The first off, I didn't know Dewan or he was a girl, so that's a thing. Hi, Yuan Chao. Yeah, I'm using your annoying tactics against you. Funny, right? I was just complaining about that, but here I am, dancing with you of all people. Bye. No. We're done here. This has already dragged on a bit longer than I expected. Because I'm tired of you attacking that particular province. So I'm gonna make sure that you can't again. Ever. Ah, uh, what a pain, what a pain, what a pain. Wow, it doesn't even heal me all the way. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a pain. I hate that mechanic. You get onto a good roll and you find yourselves in situations like this, but that's okay, because I have something else I can do. Which is this. 
Okay, so clearly I've been pushing really hard on the warpath. Every bit as the kid, evil as rumors say, how about you take me into your service? Sure, why not? Vagabond unit wants to throw in with us? I can put them to good use. Having done so, it might be well advised to do this. It smells delicious. Plenty of wine food here. I couldn't be happier. Gun Ning had an F? Yeah, he was actually getting, like, legit mad at me. I don't know why. I, we've actually been making excellent progress. Ah, even Clockwork and Ranger finally like me again. Yimatoma had an E? I thought it was... Eh, I haven't used her in a while, I guess. Ah, Iris. Dateru. You, you wounded me. Siblings don't get locked friendship ratings the way spouses and sworn siblings do. On the upside, hey, Nefja, she must have been part of that unit we just recruited then. Marvelous. Nope, we're getting another cutscene. I think this is the prosperity scene. And lo, did a strange westerner with red hair come into China to start making very arbitrary decisions? <laughs> My town has also become so strong and powerful. My town? Are you talking about our particular province, or what? Generated friend, healthy and wealthy. I wonder if that was it. Like, you get a certain amount of money and that scene triggers. Yeah, that's super cool. And now that I have my guys on my side... Excellent. As you can see here, white spaces are neutral, gray spaces are in states of disrepair, and green are in states of prosperity. Yeah, I own three kings or more that are happy. That's why I bothered repairing that. And now that my kingdom is starting to flourish, the next and really final thing I need to do is prepare ourselves for the battles to come. By battles, I mean two. It's honestly, they've been hit so many times, I'm surprised that they have anything left. Finally, it is time. That's getting really old, guys. Yeah, I'll just keep raiding them. That'll be funny. I was gonna stop about 20 minutes ago, but I'm not making another video just in order to, you know, deal with two tiny kingdoms that happen to be left over. <laughs> awesome. I managed to snipe him from underneath his service. I guess he finally saw what the writing on the wall was. But that's fine by me. Fine, whatever. Now that the Tomo Bros are more or less assembled, it's time to put us all to good use. Not that this is a finale or anything, just a matter of, well, the gang's all here, and I want to see us all in action together, so... Ranger, Clockwork... I guess I didn't make a character for Lounge Lizard, did I? Well, it's fine. Yeah, this one's gonna be a stomp. And good, because, honestly, I'm tired of their flailing. Joke's on you, I thrive in the cold! Please. 
Wow, this weapon is keeping this thing alive. At long last, I have a means of destroying this that doesn't rely on randomly getting the tiger item. Well, I say randomly. You can buy it if you set it up, but at this point, I'm impatient. And I want to bring this to a close today. A chance? You have more than double their units. Don't brown nose. Don't brown nose, Clockwork. I'm not making you a prefect after the crap you've put me through. Oh, hello, Yuan Shao. I'm looking forward to executing you. The guys have such huge health bars compared to them. That makes me happy. Second, I'm about to put the final nail on this coffin. And we can just strike north. It begins. How are we supposed to survive this? You're not supposed to. Spoiler alert. Wait, there's... Oh, there's over there. Yeah, I guess I'll step in. Being this close, I think I can get there in good time. Oh, unless they're up on that cliff, that can be a little more annoying. Eh, I can work with us. I don't want my guys taking a bunch of unnecessary damage, you know? Took care of him, all right. Yeah, no reason to go north. Go, stupid horse. Just asking you to jump, like you know, several stories down at once. Gosh, why are you being such a pest about this? Oh no, I was wrong. They can do a large-scale strategy. Interesting. I guess they just don't do it often. Whatever it is, it's not a long timer, so it must not be a big one. Oh, okay. I guess we just really wanted to be sure, right? Hey, Cog. Nice of you to finally join the game. They're just making a mad spearhead into my forces, but I wonder if they know that's really just not going to get them anywhere. If they had any brains at all, they would have allied together to try to destroy their mutual enemy, i.e. me. But they didn't. Instead, they just sat there taking tiny pot shots at me, assuming that it wasn't going to just provoke me.
I don't remember which one of you was the actual leader around here, so I'm just going to beat you all up till I figure it out. It's not the smartest way of doing it, but it is a way of doing it. Now, and if you're wondering why I don't just keep spamming the stratagem, large-scale stratagems like that have a huge cooldown. Like, I don't even think you can use it again in the same mission after you've already used it. A shame, but that's the way it is. kind of looks like a leader. I'll beat you up and see if this ends the mission. There we go. I was pretty sure that was the leader. Yeah, you know that your enemy isn't taking you seriously when they don't take the time to even learn your name. You guys were all about using your stratagems this time. Way to go. I was doing all sorts of different strategies when I wasn't looking. Nah, I'm killing you. You're annoying. Okay. Now it's time for the final formality. <laughs> so, there is a way. You actually have an option of proposing basically by diplomacy, hey, you have no chance to survive, make your time, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to destroy these guys. Really, there's no reason not to. And once again, I'm going to bring along my friends. Because most of them were with me from the beginning. And even though Ranger and Clockwork got a little mad at me, they got over it eventually. I don't think Sunjian is a show of token goodwill to the Kingdom of Wu, which is now a distant memory. The world is almost at peace. Let's just remain steady and see this thing through. That sounds like what I would say in this situation. Guys, we've almost killed everyone. So let's make this happen. Thank you, camera, for zooming in on someone I care about instead of some rando this time. I appreciate that much. Oh, goodness me, this is a formality. Maybe I should have given them the chance to surrender diplomatically. Oh well, too late for regrets now. Got a good shot off on me. Nicely done. But you backed the wrong horse. They're just scattering everywhere. I think at this point they're just desperate to try to hold on. What Cog said. Enemy commander was already forced out. That is hysterical. These guys must not have been able to do anything with Sao Sao sitting on them the entire time. Uh-oh, 
Where's Cog? Oh, I see it. Let me get rid of this guy, Cog. I'm coming. Went through all that trouble to get him. I can't just leave him hanging now. Oops. That's not good. Hang on, Cog. I have to take the detour. Didn't even notice they had a base that far south. I'm genuinely impressed that they've actually held it this long. Ah. Gotta love it. I'm hoping the Rain of Arrows just slows it down enough that Cog is able to turn the tide without me, but... At the same time, there's really no sense leaving it the chance. So that's something Cog probably would say, because Cog is way too modest. I don't think you guys understand how much stuff he does behind the scenes. As our head audio guy, he does so much for me, and I, I really just like cannot even begin to describe the impact and the influence he's had on Channel Snack. Is he tough? Is he already at the enemy base, or is he that guy in the south? He might be. Once I flush these guys out, I can head south and make sure they don't try any more underhanded tactics. Okay. It'll require a little back and forth, but hey, what's a final battle if it doesn't have a little bit of tension in it? There's Itaku. All the trouble you made it for me to get you, the very least you could do is hold your own. Wow. That, that archer turret is pretty cleverly placed, I gotta hand it to them. That's a pretty good strategy. However, their good strategy is no match for my brute force methods. go. I no longer have a method by which to push into our forces anymore. Well, she's already in the enemy base. No wonder she's having trouble. Ugh. Wow, what a shock. My wife is hard-headed and overly eager to destroy her enemies. Quick, who here is surprised?
There. I should wipe those guys out, and we can now push forward again. Oh, we're about 300 feet. Alright, to talk, we get up here. Walked into my spear, dude. All you had to do was walk away. I don't think I can even be held responsible for that kill. Okay. Now I get to move 600 feet before I hit the next... Yep, do I can. Yep, you can tell these guys have numbers. Not a whole lot else going for them. They have enough to keep reviving their units. Go ahead, Yutaku, I got this. Alright, let's do it. Final showdown. How many guys I have, you know, finished off at this point? But uh, yeah, I think you're finally out of guys. <laughs> what an anticlimactic way to finish the final battle of the game! I botched my Muso and just kind of bumped him with my shoulder. But a win's a win, and I'll take that. Nope, you're gone. Eh, nah, get out of here. Thank you for your sense of honor. Not honor, just very inconsistently enforced principles. And at last. Year 192, month 6. Snack has successfully united the land. I finally reached the summit. And all it cost me were thousands of lives and audio issues. Now we're treated to a bit of a flashback, kind of our, our greatest hits album, if you will, as we reflect on our journey thus far, and the many, many, many people who are now dead thanks to me. Kind of like the ending of Castle Crashers, but treated with a little more levity. This is going to take a while, so... Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires is fantastic. It's one of my favorite Dynasty Warriors games, and probably the most robust of the Empires games thus far. I've heard mixed things about 9, I don't own it yet, because I'm not paying $70 for something with mixed reviews, let's be real here. And this is Koei Tecmo, so of course the DLC is going to be like another $70 on top of that, so yeah, haven't done it yet. Um, but I love Eight Empires. It is a very good game. It is super fun. It takes that the one versus a thousand gameplay and lets you make your own characters, raise your own kingdom, and tell your own weird, distorted version of history including defeating guys with things like calligraphy brushes and conquering the world with just weirdos and freaks from various parts of the world and different stories all their own. It's a very addictive kind of gameplay. <laughs> and I get it if it's not your bread and butter, but I love the Musou games. Uh, the different spin-offs, the different ideas, the different systems they've used over the years. Like, I think I still have Fire Emblem Warriors on my Switch. Um, and the newest one based on Breath of the Wild. 
and I played the crap out of the uh, Gundam Musou games. Those were really great. Just, I love these games, I love the series, and I love everything they did with Dynasty Warriors 8 Empires in particular. It was just a blast to, to revisit this, and I'm glad you guys had so, so much fun. I wasn't sure <laughs> what the reaction would be, because I don't think I've really done an action game like this. Uh, but I was really, really happy that you guys had such a strong, positive reaction to it all. The world have become one. The world have become one? Now you must use our intelligence for the sake of the people. Which means we're in trouble. You really are something else. I'm, I'm glad I was able to help out. Why is you wrong? Why not, Shu wrong? That's my answer. <laughs> High spirited commander, the striking spear of the kingdom, bravely march forward, bringing glory and prosperity. And you get kind of a timeline here, which I'll quickly speed through. Sirs Wang Lang. Ha 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 ha. Yeah, a lot happened. <laughs> this was a really fun playthrough. And. I'm, I'm glad you guys enjoyed my weird rise from, you know, neutral vagabond to a traitorous dog to just and virtuous emperor of all. That's not necessary. That's not necessary either. You get a chance to update your character to reflect the timeline that you just played through, and I'm not going to do that, and I'm not going to do that either. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it, and thank you for, you know, coming along on this bizarre alternate history lesson. So, thanks again, and this is the Hipster Snick, and I'm signing off for now.